All right. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about lists, which are simple data structures in C Sharp that are dynamic. And by dynamic, we mean that unlike an array, they grow and shrink as necessary. So they're always a perfect fit in memory. As you'll see, it's going to be really easy to add data to the list, and it's also going to be really easy to traverse, meaning that it's going to be easy for us to visit all of the data that's inside the list. A little bit later on down the road, you're going to see that these are good for holding a lot of bullets that may be on the screen, or a lot of enemies, or basically just a lot of game objects. It's also going to be good for particle systems, which we'll talk a little bit about later on. So here I've created a console app, and the first thing that you'll want to notice is this using statement here. Without this line, we won't be able to work with lists, so make sure that it's included in your project. The next thing that we'll probably want to do is to create the list, so I'll do that right here. And it has a special format to it. So to create one of these things, I'm going to create a list of strings. And so this first part is our data type. Our variable name will be called words list. And I'll put a semicolon here. And then I'll drop down to this next line and say words list gets a new list of strings. Notice that I have an extra pair of parentheses because essentially we're calling the constructor right here. So I could combine this all in one line, but I decided to go ahead and make it two. All right, so the next thing that we'll want to do is to add some data. And again, I said that this was pretty easy to do. And to show you this, I can say words list dot add, and we'll add the word cat. We'll do the same thing, we'll add a couple of more words here, add the word dog. We'll do another one here, add the word mouse. And then finally, we'll finish it off with the word frog. Okay. So the next thing that we would want to be able to do is to print all of the data in this list. And if you've never seen this before, there is a for each loop. And what we're going to say is for each string s in the words list, then we want to console.writeline s. Now what this is essentially going to do is to traverse the entire list. It's saying for every string that's in the word list, uh, print it out to the screen. So if we were to try to visualize this, it would look something kind of like what you see before you. We currently have s pointing to the first thing in the list, so when we console.writeline s, it's going to print out the word cat. The next time through the loop, s gets updated to point to the next thing in the list, so when we console.writeline s, it's going to print out dog. And you can see this behavior is going to continue all the way through the entire list. So this is really good for us because as we start to have a lot of enemies and a lot of bullets on the screen, we can easily traverse the entire list of enemies or the entire list of bullets with a simple for each loop. So if we come back to our code, there's only one last thing. I'll put a comment here, and this is where we traverse the list. And believe it or not, if you can do these three things, creating the list, adding some data, and traversing the list, you can actually do quite a lot with it. So that's it for now, and we'll move on to particle systems.